Hello, my Cancer friends. This is your X rating for the 10th through the 16th. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Look at that. <clears throat> I didn't even know that flipped over. If you're new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Okay, so this is the kind of relationship you guys had in the past here with the Ten of Pentacles. This was something that I feel like you guys thought was going to lead to marriage. You had their back, they had yours. Um, I feel like both of you felt a sense of security in the relationship here, okay? And it was a secure relationship, but let's see how you actually viewed the relationship. Let's see. Yeah. You felt like the relationship, you know, there was equal give and take. Um, you felt like it was balanced. You felt like you, your sex life was good. Um, you guys loved each other. This is how you felt. This is how you viewed the relationship. Let's see how they viewed the relationship. They felt like it was meant to be. They felt like this was, this was it. They had decided to be with you, and they felt like, this is it. This is it for me. Wow. Let's see what the current situation is with you guys. Oh, that wanted to flip, so I'm going to take that. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you still want this person, um, and I think that's probably why you're here. You still want to be there for this person. Um, you're very, you're emotionally stable, I feel. You still have a lot of love for this person. You're happy. I just don't think, you know, you're like, you're normally like this, this happy person, but I feel like, you know, you're kind of down right now because, you know, you guys are not together. This was something very um, serious between you. Let's see what their current situation is. They're very guarded. Um, I think since you guys are not together, it's like, and they're not dating. They are very guarded with everyone. Very defensive here. Hmm. With you and everybody else. Let's see how you perceive your ex. What do you what do you think about them? As defensive, as paranoid, um, as not wanting to get back together, not wanting to deal with things, not wanting to deal with the issues that you guys um, have. How do they perceive you? How does your ex perceive you? Hmm. They know you want to say something to them. They know you want to talk to them. They're probably blocking you. Um, but they also feel like if they do, you know, try to say something to you that um, you're going to hurt their feelings. You're going to reject them. So before you can do any of that, they just rather not have any contact, rather not um, talk because they feel like, you know, you're going to cut them. You're going to lash out to them. Okay, let's see how you feel about getting back together. Hmm. I think you want to make it happen for sure. I think that it's not up to you. I think that you should keep doing what you're doing because you seem to have... Um, all your ducks in a row because at the end of the day you know this person has free will so um, you know you can't make them do anything all you can do is keep your focus keep your harmony um, your balance within yourself okay but you definitely want this to happen and let's see how they feel about getting back together here Hmm. They want to, but again, this person is not moving. 
They are being very, very stubborn here. Very stubborn. They're looking right at you. But they're being very stubborn. They're probably observing you guys as well, okay? Let's see what you can do to fix this. I feel like you just need to move forward. Keep doing, like I said, what you've been doing. Um, don't bring any more grief to your doorstep. I feel like reaching out to this person right now um, may not be the best um, course of action because they are very defensive. And if they feel like you will leash, um, um, God dang it, <laughs> if you will like, you know, be mean to them or reject them or whatever, then they're going to be, they're, they're going to be like try to be proactive and do to you what they feel like you are coming to do to them so and that's be hurtful because they, they really think that if they reach out to you that you will be hurtful towards them okay so the best thing for you to do is um, to keep moving forward keep concentrating on your mental stability and your physical stability um, your emotional stability just just keep moving on okay let's see what they can do to bring this back help this connection help this along they need to get their head out of the clouds because they're they're quite confused like I said they think that you want to you know lash out at them they think that if they reach out to you that you are going to um, reject them or you're going to be hurtful towards them you're going to um, want to argue with them they have all of these different um, you know scenarios going on different feelings going on about you that they need to get in check okay let's see what the potential outcome is here Hmm. Somebody's not sure. Um, still kind of up in the air. Now, this person or you may be juggling. Someone may have, there's someone else involved, possibly. Um, but the potential outcome is still up in the air. Okay? Because this person is quite confused about their feelings. And there is um, the best thing for you to do is to like let them be in their feelings and sort them out for themselves here. Okay, so let's see what the Romance Angels cards have to say for you guys. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I feel like this is more for your ex my cancer friends because um you are open okay they are the ones that you know they're guarded um they're stubborn and they're confused they need to sort things out for themselves and realize that it is safe for them to approach you okay so my cancers that's what i have for you guys and i will be speaking with you soon bye